Aaron bought some pencils and sharpeners, spending the same amount of money as Aaron. Aditya bought twice as many pencils and 10 fewer sharpeners. If the cost of one sharpener is rupees two more than the cost of a pencil, the minimum possible number of pencils bought by Aaron and Aditya together. Very interesting question, slightly not that easy. And so you're buying pencils and sharpeners. Sharpeners, right? Yeah, sharpeners. We're going to talk about Aaron and Aditya. So Aaron bought pencils and sharpeners. Let's say he buys P pencils and S sharpeners. Aditya bought twice as many pencils, 2P and 10 fewer sharpeners, so S minus 10. The cost of pencil and sharpener were the same, life would have been easy. Right? So it's not the same. The cost of one sharpener is rupees two more than cost of a pencil. So cost of one pencil, if it were N, cost of one sharpener is N plus two. One pencil is n, n plus two. Now we should get to writing some equations because the total amount of money spent by both of them is same. P into n plus s times n plus two is the amount Aaron spent. Two p into n plus s minus ten times n plus two. So what is the extra cost coming to him on account of doubling the pencil is offset on account of buying 10 fewer sharpness. This P becomes 2P, that's going to increase the cost. S becomes S minus 10, that's going to decrease the cost. This offsets the other, and then we'll find out what the difference is. Fine, so what we have to do now, add these two up, add these two up, equate one to the other. And so PN plus SN plus 2S. PN plus SN, this is SN, remember that, plus 2S equals 2pn plus sn plus 2s minus 10n minus 20. So there's a the sn plus 2s which, which will continue to be there on both sides. There's a 2pn here, only a pn here, one of those we can cancel or pn equals 10n plus 20. I'll write that down. Pn equals 10n plus 20. Obviously, there are quite a few values of p and n for this. This could be satisfied. Goes without saying that n has to be a uh, an integer. But let's think about this. Sorry, p has to be an integer. Let's think about this. Can we restructure this equation in some form? Let's bring this over to this side. Pn minus 10n equals 20. Or n into p minus 10 is 20. Lovely, this is the number of pencils minus 10. Right? Number of pencils has got to be an integer. Now we want to find the minimum possible value of the pencils bought by Aaron and Aditya together. Aaron and Aditya together, they bought three p pencils, p plus two p. We want to find the minimum possible value of three p, or we want to find the minimum possible value of p. Given what constraint, given the idea, P minus 10 times n is 20. Right? P has to be an integer. Put P as 11. It cannot be 10 or lower. This will become 0. It cannot be negative. Put P as 11. This becomes 11 minus 10, which is 1. n is 20. 20 into 1 equals 20. P as 11 seems to satisfy this equation for one interesting value of n. So P equal to 11 works. If P were 11, 3P would be 33. That's the choice we're looking for. Lovely, interesting question. We frame the equation, go to the algebra part, equate it, and then finally say, and what combination would P be the minimum? As it turns out, P11 being the minimum works, 11 is the minimum value P can take, in which case 3P will be 33. Hush.